welcome to my channel. My name is Ali Reza and in this episode of BrewMax Analysis, we are going to see how to calculate the interaction energy between the ligand and the receptor. In, our, in my last video, I showed you how to calculate the RMST of the ligand receptor backbone and the complex of the ligand and receptor. Here, as you can see, my system is uh, converged at this time point to the uh, end of the simulation. For, uh, for seeing how the system is converged or in what time point the convergence has occurred, you need to calculate RMST or radius of gyration and other measurements. I use RMST and in this point, I may say that my system converged which is um, I can add the label in my complex uh, this might be in year 33 or 35 and again I just and uh, 34 point which means my system is converged at the 34 nanoseconds past the simulation uh, the first column in this is the time I need to scroll down to 34. 34. Okay. Here it is 34, and the frame is uh, 56, 67, at which my system is converged. But before we can calculate the interaction energy, we need some files. Uh, one, I the TPR. For calculating or for producing or the TPR file, we need IE.MVP, which is uh, provided in the link. Here, some changes I have done in this file to compatible with my index, like the n step and the ligand S string, water ion, and also protein underlying uh, ligand name. Uh, I need to find them in from my index.ndx file as may. Let's see if I have other. Okay, I do not have any water ion in my system. My system is was already neutral here. I change it into the water only. Now let's see what is my ligand name. I can find it in my topology file. Uh, where is topology? Here. Okay. C O eight. Uh, okay, and now it's good to go. If you do not change this, it will be fatal error during the calculation. Just make sure you have changed all of this uh, stuff here. Now we are going to make the uh, IE.TPR for calculating the interaction energy between ligand and the receptor. Okay. Now we have our IE.MDP file corrected. Let's write down our GMX robot. So let's continue GMX prompt FI.MDP file. See mpt.grow dash t mpt.cpt topology index 5 and make an output ie.tpr let's see what's going on okay we have some warning here we can use this code dash max one two two okay be good uh, now we have i.tpr file here and yes we have to uh, we have to calculate the, inter the energy of the md simulation into a new file name ie dot uh, edr so for doing this we just write gmx md run and we different name ie now uh, there are a comment here rerun if you forget to use rerun and start the simulation 
You will have to simulate the whole system again and it will take almost a year to, due to you have to use just your CPU not GPU as the interaction energy cannot be calculated with GPU at the meantime so do not forget to rerun this command allow you to recalculate the energy from the already existed uh, XTC file let me show you underline dot XTC okay and uh, we can also use variables to see uh, what's going on here how long it takes to finish and NB to define the CP okay I hit the enter to see what is going on nice Okay, we have successfully finished and to create our EDR file. Uh, it took almost 30 minutes, give or take two or more. Now we have to calculate the interaction energy between the ligand and the receptor. No, let's go. Type GMX energy module and we need to type dash f i e dot e d r and then o for mm, total total interaction energy dot x v g and we have to use b or uh, dash e for the starting frame of our calculation and the ending frame so as i recall or uh, the starting frame was 56, 67. 56, 67. Okay, we are good to go. Right, let's press enter and. Okay, I'm using Gromax 2021.3 20, as I said before, I think. We have 39 options here for calculating different energies uh, like. Uh, mm, Leonard Jones short range, Coulomb short range, eight. Okay, um, let's um, let's calculate the uh, Leonard Jones short range protein ligand here, and then uh, Columbus short range protein ligand twenty and twenty one. Columbus short range potential twenty. Okay, it's is an average of 4.97 okay it is very low type um, it was 20 and let's calculate 21 i don't know you can choose a name you wish let's Calculate 21, okay. Dash 24.95 kilojoule per mole. And we can plot this calculation by Grace, desktop Grace. You just have to, um, I don't know if I can drag and drop both of these files. Let's see, okay. Yes, you can drop and uh, drag and drop uh, both oh. or we can just uh, drag and drop one by one and see another one uh, uh, for better view you can use uh, Microsoft Excel as I produced my graph last time you can let just open up the files but the text editing tools like Notepad Plus and just copy and paste the numericals here and 
you have to import text into the different column this is delimited delimited with space I think yes okay uh, this is time point in picoseconds and this is energy we just have to uh, select all the data and uh, you can or you may not delete this column and insert whatever that you are uh, work with I'll leave this video in here and I hope you enjoy this video and see you in the next goodbye